Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Margarita. Hello, hi, and if you're not, welcome back. Hmm. So, before I start this video off, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon down below, and give this video a like. I do upload every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 a.m. Um, Eastern time? Western, no. On the east, on the eastern time. I don't know, something like that. But, as you can see from today's title, I am testing out a product. I just had it. So for today's product that I am testing out is an Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish Perfect Nude. It's a foundation. It's just a foundation. I actually found this at TJ Maxx for $7.99. And I'm actually like really like... Just because like this is like a high brand. I don't know if it's really considered luxury. I'm pretty sure it really is. Um, it says it's compared at $13, so I don't know if the foundation, I mean, I'm assuming that the foundation's $13. Like, let's look this up. Okay, so I'm looking at the foundation, and it says that it retails for $39. So, yeah, I don't know why it says compared at $13. Maybe it was somewhere for $13, or I don't know. But yeah, this foundation runs for $39, and I got it for $7.99. That's actually really good. And the shade that I got it in was Cream Nude. So is this my shade? I don't know, but <laughs> we'll find out. So I've already prepped my face. I've already done the moisturizer. I've already primed just so I can get it out of the way. And now I'm going to go ahead and just apply it on my sponge. Ooh, maybe that was too much. So this is what it looks like. Now in here, I do get, I don't know. So I guess it just says it's 30 ml. So 30 milliliters. Ugh, I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the face. Ooh. I actually don't know if this is full coverage or not. So I want to go ahead and just apply this all over the face. And then I'll look back at it. It does smell like sunscreen. So I could tell you that. It does smell like sunscreen. I actually like the way how sunscreen smells. So sorry for the bad lighting. Because I want to do a review on this, like an all-day wear test. I don't know how long it says it's supposed to stay. I think so far this is like a lightweight, like it's just one of those, yeah, like I'm not getting really any coverage. Maybe it's just one of those foundations where it's like, will give you minimum coverage, but it's got, what's it called, sunscreen in it. Going back in with another pump. So this is my third pump. Oh man. Today is actually really nice outside. It's kind of crazy because today is February 5th and it's like in the 70s outside. And I live in North Carolina, so that's uh, really crazy. So on the box it says it's for all skin types, so dry, dry combo or oily. It says light to medium coverage. So it does not claim that it's full coverage. It says it's a light to medium coverage, so I'm assuming that it can be buildable. Um... You can still see my freckles. Obviously, I'm not. It's not a full coverage. Um, this was only one coat or one layer, and I mean my pores, like on my nose and all that. Like I can see that it has smoothed down over here. So I'm gonna go in with another layer. So is that gonna be like six pumps? Like this is really pretty. Like not like it's how would I say it? Like I mean it's light wear. And it feels really nice. And it does say that it's like light to light medium light to medium coverage. So obviously you're not gonna be looking at like it's not gonna cover all your freckles. It's if you have moles and all that, it's probably gonna just like help it out. Like if you're not into the full coverage, um, this is this would be like a really good foundation for you. So I do have like I don't know my freckles. They're like they're not dark freckles but they're kind of like light. So honestly, this foundation feels like it feels nice. Like it, it feels like a moisturizer, like a tint, like a BB cream, I guess maybe. I don't know. Like it did cover up a couple of my freckles here. Like it just gives you like an even tone, even base. So if you're looking for a little more of like that natural flawless look, then this would actually be a pretty good foundation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my eye makeup. And I'll be back. Let's see how it sits with my concealer, how it sits with um, powders and all that. So, yeah. And then I'm also going to be doing check-ins.
freckles though. Hello, hi. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is Diego. Hi. So I completed the look. Like I look cute. Hello. Do I look cute, Diego? Yes or no? I think you do. Or do I look white? Do I look really white? You look really white. I I still think you're cute. Ah. So yeah. So I completed the eye look and all that. So far, the foundation looks really nice. Um. You can still kind of see the freckles, but it's not as bad. I mean, I did put like a powder foundation on it. <laughs> And we're gonna go bowling, so we'll see how that's gonna go. It's pretty hot outside, it's like 75, so. Hey guys, so I am currently in Ross, and so far, I don't know, like I'm oily, literally, that's like the only oily spot, which is so weird. Um, I really don't know how I feel about this foundation, like, I don't know, like I have like better ones, but obviously you know this is the first time trying it so i have to do like test trials and all that it's oily uh, yeah all right guys so don't mind all this like ugh. um i look really greasy i'm not sure how i feel about the foundation like i don't know like my nose it's like breaking up here i lost foundation here um I don't know I'm just like a really greasy mess this is me from not touching anything I had this on since what um, probably since 2 and it currently it's like 1230 so about 10 plus hours I'm not sure if it says like how long it's wearable if you're into like really natural makeup and you don't like to cake your face up I mean it's a really nice finish it's very light it's kind of buildable not really um, like I said, it's just kind of like, if you want to even out your skin tone, I'm so greasy and shiny. I haven't touched up. I normally really don't touch up. I don't bring powder to touch up anything. Um, but I just wanted to see how it would look. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And hopefully I can find some good deals at TJ Maxx or Marshalls to find some pretty good affordable makeup. Um, this was only $7.99. It retails for $39, which that's a big savings. Like, that's huge. Um, so pretty much $8 versus $39. So I, I what? I saved $31 right there. So, hmm. Mm. But anyways, um, I don't know. Like, this is my first time wearing it. So it's first impression so far really oily i'm gonna have to try again and see hopefully i don't break out <laughs> we'll see by tomorrow and yeah all right guys i will see you in the next video bye